Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the ninth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about creating tables in SQL. So there are three steps that you need to follow while creating tables in SQL and uh, the first one is, well, obviously you have to name the table that you're creating and uh, the second one is that you have to define the columns that the table is going to have and uh, the last thing that you have to do is mention data types of columns and you know I have uh, not specified uh, you know mentioning constraints in the create table statement because that's not necessary right so these are three things that you absolutely have to do but uh, if you also want to apply some constraints to the columns that you have in your table then you can do that too right so there are lots of things that you can do in create table statement is one of the most powerful statements in SQL and obviously it has to be right because the the data is going to be in tables and you know creating tables is is like the essence of uh, you know database management so this is the syntax of the create table statement and uh, create table statement by the way is what you use to create tables and uh, you know you have to first uh, specify two keywords the first one is create the second one is table so these keywords you just have to mention and then you have to give a space and uh, type in the name of the table and then you have to type in the opening parentheses character and then you have to specify all the columns that you want your table to have along with the data types and there has to be a space between the column name and uh, the data type and then if suppose after you've uh, declared the first column you want to you know mention more columns and you have to use the comma character and once you're done specifying all the columns and the data types you can put in the closing parentheses character and then put in a semicolon to terminate the entire statement and uh, I've uh, mentioned the primary key constraint at the last uh, you know step or the last line in the create table statement uh, in the slide that you're seeing at the moment but you know you can specify it while creating the columns as well and, and that's what we're going to check out next uh, when I demonstrate the create table statement to you in uh, MySQL workbench. So now I have my workbench and I'm going to show you guys how the create table statement works. So at the moment I've, I'm using the test database and you can see that uh, you know the test database is, is written in bold and that's because I've used it but if you still want to double check then what you can do is use the use statement and uh, type in the name of the database that you want to use so you know uh, in this case I want to use test so that's why I'll type in use test and press the control enter key combination and in the output part I see that uh, the statement has been processed right so now I'm going to use the test database and I'm going to create a table called employee and uh, to do that as I said we're going to use the create table statement and all SQL keywords uh, you know preferably you should write in uppercase letters because uh, when you share your code with someone you know it becomes easier for that person to follow and it also becomes easier for you to know you know what uh, words in your statements are uh, SQL words or keywords and you know what statement uh, words are your own uh, words or identifiers right so the name of the table as I mentioned is going to be employee and uh, you know on the next line I'm going to put in the opening parentheses character and uh, the first column that this table is going to have is the ID column and uh, it's going to be of integer type right because the ID for the employee is is going to hold numeric values only and uh, that's not necessary but you know in this particular case I would want it to have only numeric values and I would also want this uh, you know this field to be the primary key for the table and uh, I missed mentioning it in the last tutorial but you know in, in a table if you have five columns or ten columns or five hundred columns no matter how many columns you have only one column can be the primary key right and uh, I would just have to type in the keywords primary and key after declaring the um, what do you call column and then I'll put in a comma because I'm going to specify the next uh, column name and that is going to be name right so we're going to have a field that holds names for employees and this is going to be of varchar type and the maximum number of characters that I want this field to hold is 30 so I'm going to specify 30 here and uh, the uh, limit part has to be between parentheses and this is something that we discussed in the tutorial on data types next we are going to specify another column for the table and uh, this one is going to be date of birth and we would want this to be of date time type right and the next field that I want this table to have is uh, the email field and uh, this is also going to be of uh, varchar type and uh, I would want this to have uh, let's say 40 characters and uh, well that's it 
I want this table to have no more fields. So I'll put in the closing parentheses character and put in a semicolon to terminate the statement. And now when I press the control enter key combination, I get the message in the output portion of the workbench that the create table employee statement has been processed correctly and no rows have been affected thus far because uh, we haven't populated the table yet we've just created it and if you want to make sure that your table has been created there are a couple of things that you can do the first and the easiest thing that you can do is just go to the object browser portion and uh, you know click on the drop down for the database that you've been using so in this case we've been using tests so you know click on the drop down for test and then you would find uh, three options uh, under the database uh, that you've you know selected so under test I see tables views and routines so click on the drop down for tables and you would see the employee table in that list so this is the uh, easiest way of checking whether your table has been created or not the other way that we're going to discuss is you know by using the DESC statement and again DESC is an SQL keyword and you know do you have DESC with MySQL and Oracle but uh, I don't think my Microsoft SQL Server allows you to use DESC so you know that's why I, I would suggest to you to you know use some other alternatives to check uh, whether your table exists or not and we're going to check out the other alternatives later on but you know DESC works with MySQL so it's a very 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 nice command and I love using it so you type in DESC which is a short form for describe and uh, then the name of your table which in this case is employee right and you put in a semicolon and you press the enter key in the results section you would see that uh, you know all the columns that you have in the table are displayed you also see the data types of uh, each column and you also see whether the column can have uh, null values or not and you know if you have any constraint applied on that on that column or not so the id field as you can see is of integer type and uh, it cannot hold null values so that's why no is written under the null column and uh, it is the primary key so that's mentioned and of course it doesn't have any default value because we haven't specified that in the create table statement the name field is of varchar type and uh, the dob field is of date time type and the email field is of uh, variable character type too right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this tutorial i hope you guys had fun in the next tutorial we are going to discuss something important too and create table we're going to check out lots of variations of it in this course and uh, you know this was just a brief introduction to the command and uh, i hope you've gained some information and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial we'll see you in the next one and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, take care